What a fun day to do a video on spring jackets and toppers because it's 70 degrees outside here. We had a nice storm a week ago and it's springtime today. So if you have not checked out my transitional outfits from winter to spring video, then you might want to do so because it is here, guys. We are going to have days that feel like winter and days that feel like spring and that'll be really helpful. This will be helpful too. We are going to talk about jackets and toppers today for spring and I'm going to show you outfits that represent those pieces so you can see them styled and if you're new around here my name is Jamie with your guide to style and welcome thank you for hitting play and I would love it if any of you have not hit that subscribe button that you will do so and also hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment below because it really helps my channel grow so thanks again and we will go ahead and get started the first topper that I want to talk about is a trench coat and I really love the trench coat for this season. I just talked about it in my last video because it's a great piece that you can do to transition from winter to spring, but it's also just a great piece to have for the springtime. And in the outfit, perfect layering for spring, I have put this together with just jeans and some ankle boots that are more springy looking in a striped t-shirt. And I think this is a fun outfit that you can wear right now and you can wear it in the spring. You could convert those booties to sandals, the <laughs> jeans to shorts, whatever it is that you want to do to make it even more springy. But I do think a trench coat is on trend. You're seeing a lot of them. The thing that I will say is if you are shorter like me, I just got the trench coat that's in this picture. And of course I'm wearing the dress in the picture too right now because I'm about to do a review on free assembly. I'll have that coming next week. But talk about the trench coat. When I put it on, it made me think, you know what, this is really long. I got an extra small in it and it's still kind of big and oversized. So I think if you're a shorter and you find one that's knee length, maybe try to find one that's a petite and something that fits you really well because there can be a lot of fabric in these trench coats. And this one is a double breasted one. If you could find a single breasted, you would get rid of some of that material. The last thing I wanna say about a trench coat is that I think this is a very versatile piece because you can dress it up or you can wear it really casual. Either way, it will help you to layer your outfits and look really cute for this springtime. The next two items I wanna talk about are blazers. And the first one is a white blazer because I love white blazers. I think you can wear them in the winter time. They especially look gorgeous in the spring and summertime if you don't get too hot in the summer. But if you're a professional too or have to go to an office, a blazer is a great way to either dress up a pair of jeans or to have a good work outfit that is pants and a blazer. But the white blazer I think is fresh. There's a lot of options out there. If you don't like blazers, just a white jacket. There's all kinds of white jackets that are coming out for spring. There always are. And I just think it's a great option to freshen up your outfit if you want a really pretty layer and you don't wanna wear black or darker colors, this is a great way to go. The next blazer that I think would be awesome for the spring season is a bold color blazer. Bold color is what is in for this season. It is trending big time. You will see as stuff starts to come out, but the blazers that are bright colors, I found a bunch of them. I will link a few below. Express has a lot. They are my favorite place to shop for blazers, and this one is from there. They have all kinds of different colors, and this outfit is called Be the Brightest, and I just thought this was great. Just layer some sort of textured uh, lace camisole. It doesn't have to be cropped like this one underneath it with your jeans and a sandal. And this is just a great spring outfit. If you wanted to wear this for transitional season, you could put on a pair of ivory or white or tan ankle boots. And this is also a great outfit. So the bold blazer, I think is a great, great piece to get for this spring season. I think springtime is a great time if you love just casual jackets because the utility jacket is an amazing option. And I'm gonna show you a couple here. The first one is just this bright blue. This is Elevate Your Casual Style. And it is just, it is actually a topper that you would keep on. So it is an outfit finisher. And you could wear this open and put the ties in the back or you could close it and tie it up. And it's really, really pretty. This one came in a few different colors, but I loved the bright blue, the bold color you're seeing it all and all kinds of other jackets as well. And this is just a great casual way to dress. They are 
particularly really casual pieces. So if you are a very casual dresser, this would be a great piece to layer for the spring season. And then the next one I wanted to show you is an anorak. This is the same outfit styled with different pieces. And this jacket has a hoodie. So the anoraks are typically really casual, lightweight jackets that have a hood and they usually have kind of the utility pockets and things like that. And I think this is a great option as well. And I also had this outfit in my last transitional video. So this outfit could transition you into spring and you can wear it into spring, especially in the evenings if it gets cooler. You could change out the shoes and put sandals on. But I think this is a fun option, either of these styles, if you love dressing really casually. So moto jackets have been really popular for several seasons now. I think it's actually become a pretty nice piece to have in your closet that can be pretty classic although it does have a little bit of edge to it and i love the lighter colors for springtime i don't know if you've seen them they're probably doing some bright colors this season too i just haven't seen any yet but there's a lot of whites and creams and tans and i think this is perfect for the spring season and i think this is something that you could dress up like in this outfit pretty in a midi where i put it with a pleated skirt which is also on trend you could do a midi length or a maxi length if you wanted to or the minis you know the little tennis skirts are coming back too if you like mini skirts and i just put a pair of ivory boots and a really fun print blouse with this and i think you could switch out the skirt for jeans and you could pair the jacket with shorts with dresses i just think it's a great versatile piece and it is something that is trending right now with that moto jacket and doing the light color is great for the springtime. So I wanna talk about the tweed jacket because I don't think a lot of people are talking about the tweed jacket and I think this is such a perfect jacket for the springtime. And I love this because I love Coco Chanel and she created the tweed jacket set where she did the skirt and the jacket and the jackets have just been one of those classic pieces that are so cool. And this year you are finding a lot of them and a lot of them are shorter and I love that look. I think it looks really good with jeans or pants or skirts. So this piece can be very versatile and there's a lot of pretty spring colors. I found this pink one in this outfit called Pretty in Tweed that I put together with just white flare jeans and I did a bodysuit. If you don't love bodysuits, just do a loose camisole that you tuck in, something like that, or a loose blouse, whatever it is that would work for you underneath that. Make sure it's not too loose because these tweed jackets are usually more structured. And sometimes when you have more structured, you need a little bit more fitted underneath, but you can button it up to cover it up if you want to, or you could wear something like this that is ruched and a high-waisted jean, and then you're not showing too much and it still looks really conservative and pretty. So the last jacket I want to talk about is a denim jacket and I'm going to go ahead and pull up this outfit which is called casual slip dress outfit and I just want to say that I know that denim jackets are a classic piece. They're a staple in all of our closets. It's something great to wear in the springtime but I don't want to talk about the trucker jacket. I want to talk about some more trending options, some more fun options that you could do, like the jacket I have on, which is also the one in the photo. And this is kind of a cropped, or they call it cropped, but it's a shorter version that's kind of a swing utility style. And it is so much fun to put over dresses, to put with white jeans, with skirts and tops. I have just really enjoyed it. And I think this is the second or third video I've worn it in, but I wanted to show it to you styled with a dress. The slip dress is a great option because normally that's something that you wear really dressy, but if you have one and you wanna dress it down, this is a great way to do it. And just throw on some sneakers or some sandals with it. And then the one that I have on is this fun little striped dress. I'll be reviewing it in my video that's coming next week on free assembly. But this is an awesome dress and I'll also link it below. And if you like this and like the other colorway, just size up one size and it should work perfect for you. So anyway, the denim jacket I think is a fun option. And whether you do the crop version, uh, oversized, a boyfriend, whatever, I do think that it is something fun that you could add as a little bit more of a trendy piece to your closet, but it also still has that classic look. Those are all the spring jackets and toppers that I wanted to talk about today. And if you have any questions for me and want them to appear in my what to wear Q&A video, then leave Q&A colon in front of that question and I will address it in the next video. 
And also everything in this video will be linked for you below if there was anything that you saw that you liked. And I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next week.